Hello, Brother Monroe here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, and the last in um, my sort of Dreadnought Showcase series, and I have saved the best for last, HMS Dreadnought herself, a British 1910 Dreadnought 1 against uh, the same enemy we've been facing the whole time. So let's have a look uh, at this horror. <laughs> I hate the Dreadnought 1 hull. It's absolutely terrible. The Goliath, okay. Um, let's do these ones. Yeah. Right, towers. It's going to be a funky ship, I'll tell you that much. At least we can actually fit this uh, tower on. Uh, funnels, what can we fit? Ooh, we can fit three funnels in a kind of weird setup, but we can fit three. That's pretty nice. Um, right. Bobbits. We can get mediums. That's, again, very nice. Let's go with twelves. Definitely a fan of the twelve-inch guns. Uh, get a secondary barbette in. Um... Hmm, interesting. Let's go with the eight inches again, eight inch guns again. I'm not gonna, I could put side 12s here, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, more of the eight inch. Just because I'm enjoying using the, the eight inch guns. Uh, it's a bit of a big four weight offset though. There we go. Lovely. Um, semi oil. Oh, natural oil is 100%. We will go to 28 knots, really? Wow. Okay. That's, uh, that's a pretty fast ship. Um. Now, I've been told that I should be using cordite with uh, British ships. I just, uh, it's just less gun range, less penetration. Uh, it's not as bad as the lidite, I suppose. It's just, that's a lot of red. <laughs> but, all right, we'll try it. Um, let's go with a coincidence rangefinder. Because I'm going to play this how I want to play it. Uh, we'll go up to a 20 inch belt. That would be amazing. <gasps> yes. Okay. Um, No way I'm going to get that. Uh, could change the funnel type to say mediums. Then we're going to have to slow down. Say 24. 24 knots. Okay, uh, still way over. Um, hmm. One doesn't help as much as I was hoping. Hmm. Let's go even slower. No, not that slow. Standard funnels, though, look all right. Twenty-one. Twenty-one knots. There we go. This is pretty close to being okay. Hmm. 
Um, there we go. So you shave a bit of the deck armor off. Get war belts. More turret armor. Maybe just a smidge more on the towers. There we go. Okay, we have the Goliath. Let's try her. <laughs> Torpedo protection is a vital part of ship design that you keep forgetting. <laughs> Throwing shade at me, game. There she is. Oh, the Cordite does fire HE with the 8 inch. That's interesting. Let's have a look. Very similar to what the Germans were facing. It's a hit. Until we get an identification. Whole lot of miss so far. Whole lot of miss. Oh, nope, we've got an identification. They do have torpedoes every which way. Great. Range? 5-1. Oh, joys. Well, let's try and get away from them then. they carry 11 and they fired on us as well what about their protection uh, not amazing few bulkheads oh that's a good hit Some, a little bit of distance as best we can. Yeah, that's a that's a hell of a lot of torpedoes to get through. Oh, uh, we really wish there was an option to just turn them off on battleships. You really do. Looks like the Arrogante is moving away. Another big hit. Oh, come on. Oh, 
we're kind of hoping is that I I see these these two and this well and this one to a lesser extent are kind of breaking off. I can uh, isolate them from the main fleet. We might be able to uh, close in, take them out, and then uh, like kind of pick them off. On with the accuracy. <laughs> Go for the ship we've actually damaged. Might help. Oh, she just fired out this turn. Ah, shit. Well, I can't avoid multiple torpedoes because there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. See, that's the problem with the Cordite. It's just not penetrating the armor on the uh, Arrogante here. Ram them! Oh no, or get hit by a torpedo, one or the other. Ow! Ramming! So many torpedo hits. Unreal. Ramming again! Yeah, go on! <laughs> oh! Goliath, you absolute monster, you. Oh, there goes the Arrogante. Oh, I'm fighting a torpedo right as she died as well. Ow. And there goes the Goliath. Um, yeah, there we go. Somewhat disappointing, but still fun. Um, uh, just to show you why I don't like torpedoes, I'm just going to retry exactly the same ship, but just going to take our guns off because uh, we need at least two. And this is why. I'm not a huge fan of torpedoes because I'm going with a very, very small ship. With with the best funnels. Oops, not sides. So this thing is very, very small. Uh, with natural boilers, we have 100% engine efficiency. We could probably go much, much, much faster if we wanted. This is all with natural boilers, by the way. Yep. 
almost all the way to 36 knots. Certainly do 35 easily enough. There we go. Uh, let's go up. Where does it get bigger? Here we go. Okay. So 2250 tons. Um, don't need all of that belt armor. Uh, but it would be nice to have, uh, just get rid of all this. I don't need that. Uh, to be honest, don't need 12 inch guns either. We could just go with nines like this. Light shells, reduced. Uh, go with the white powder because it gives us the least chance to explode. Um, don't need any of that. 19 inch fast torpedoes. Uh, Anti torpedo 3. Auxiliary engine. A shaft. Um. Get some belt extended armor while we're at it. There. And that's really stupid shit. Like, this ship should not work. Right. It, it is ridiculously non. It's a ridiculous nonsense. I'm going to call it the David. Um, this, this is a terrible ship. This should absolutely not do very well. In my opinion, anyway. Come on, David. Let's go. Turn the torps off. Enemy ships are, well, pretty much the same as uh, we saw last time. I'm just going to sail right up to them. We took a hit. For a torpedo launch on that on the Begona um, once you're in range, and you have a firing solution, which you should do reasonably soon. Oh no, they took out one of my torpedo tubes. Which one? Oh, the rear torpedo tube. Well, that's annoying, but not the end of the world. They fired at me. Right, turn. Torpedoes retarget on the um, yeah, whatever that is. Turn. You can slow up a little bit.
I should be able to get the. F mm. It's going to be tricky, actually. I want to get the side tube off on the uh, gear picosa here. And then see if we can't get the front tube on the bingo, bingo now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Torpedo away. Retarget. fire front tube at the bingona for you ram it or as you ram it I don't care at this point just fire come on thank you Another one going out against the San Yuan, whatever. Did we miss the. Um... Ooh, we did. Sneaks. Annoyingly, they have many bulkheads, which is uh, not quite what I was expecting, but it's okay, I'm sure. Oh, um, uh, bomb. There we go. And there goes the David. So, not great performance, I have to be honest. Um, but, yeah. Torpedoes do just. Uh, torpedoes. <sighs> anyway, uh, let me know in the comments which one did you prefer. The David or the Goliath? <laughs> I would much prefer to use the Goliath, but it's ridiculous how close the David came in terms of performance. Doing, like, if those battleships had, had minimum bulkheads, they would have all sunk. Like, we would have sunk four or five. Um, so, yeah. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments, and thank you very much for looking at this little mini-series. Normal service will resume tomorrow. Anyway, thank you very much, and goodbye.